exactly how all of that is going to help him out here on the snake water. As once again, ladies and gentlemen, if you're just tuning in, this is Quarantine versus Epsilon in ETF 12 Season 14, Week 3. Uh, this season of ETF 12, sponsored by Twitch.tv, the very streaming website you're watching this right now. And uh, very much so, thank you to them for sponsoring. Uh, well, maybe not sponsoring, but at least helping out Team Fortress 2 here. They've been a huge help so far, and they're pretty much fantastic. So please, give a big shout-out to them for helping our Team Fortress 2, to, and obviously to help us obviously bring the coverage um, that you guys deserve to have. Now, Epsilon versus Quarantine on this map. Obviously, Epsilon way better on Gollywash, and over the past months... Almost half, no, even more than half a year. They've been better than every single European team. What are the chances of Quarantine getting a good result here? Target says very high. Target says very point. high. Well, let, let's put it at that one, though, as right now the game has gone live. Uh, so I'd like to officially welcome everyone here to Vanilla TV as we have Quarantine versus Epsilon going live. CP Snakewater, it's map number two. Um, and are they going to re... Yeah, they're yeah, going to redo it. Right, yeah. That helps me because I can redo the intro, obviously. As uh, Welcome to Vanilla TV is obviously still the exact same thing. They're saying wait, they're saying restart. I don't know what's happening anymore, James. I think Quarantine have just forfeited. No, okay, they are so going to restart round. Quarantine and Epsilon said they both got absolutely bizarre spawns. And <laughs> they all said, wait, wait, wait. So we'll have to wait and see. Now the teams are finally going live. So welcome once again for the third time here to Vanilla TV as this game is finally going live. Quarantine in the blue up against Epsilon in the red. ETF 12, week three in season 14, powered by Twitch.tv. Over here with Pledge and Admirable on the cast, Warden on the stream. And all the viewers, obviously, on the stream to watch this match unfold. First middle's going on the way. Numlock gives away first blood. Yeah, Numlock very aggressive there. Pushed forward on his left side to focus the scouts on the hut. But Fuyo had his retreat covered by a couple of stickies there. And he did get taken down. And that means a lot of damage is missing here in this uh, middle fight. Because he tried to make a play early on in that initial phase before the rest of the heavies had arrived. And Epsilon have wisely backed off. They're going to have Uber here in time to block if they want, but it looks like they're not even going to bother. They're just positioned on last, waiting for those spawns to come in. And I wonder, will Bash snipe? Yes, yes he does. Yeah, Bash, Bash very much sniping here. And really, like, we can see Quarity pushing immediately, but they need to be a little bit careful with this one. As uh, both teams do have Uber, both teams do have six people up. You really do not want to get caught into the trap. That is Epsilon Esports, but Lime manages to get the force, and it's a 100 versus 0 situation at this moment in time. And when Lime spawns, surely they will be knocking on Epsilon's door once again. Yeah, and big uber advantage right now for crits, and I'm trying to find out where they're positioned at. Yeah, they're just sitting way, way back, but now they're coming forward, and slowly but surely that... Uber advantage is being lost. They're going to push in from below here. There's no stickies on the bottom. They're just going to walk in. He actually ubers really early. And that's going to give Epsilon a chance to hold on to this because he's just ubered three players in and it's faded it instantly. And now they haven't got a position. They haven't got frags. They're just hor horribly stuck in between that rock and lower building. They're getting demolished. But somehow big frags came in on the flank there. What? <laughs> <laughs> they got through, they actually got three frags really early, but they forgot to deal with Numlock, so it looked a lot closer than it actually could have been. If they would have just focused Numlock, this would have been a lot easier there until last, but it took them a while to take him out. Numlock did manage to get a couple of frags in, but Quarantine's going to pick up the first cap here on Snakewater, and that's definitely something we've seen different. Quarantine winning the first cap, 1-0 right now on Snakewater. We see Mike, the aggression is opened up against Fuo here. Mike goes down, he's not going to care. It's the devil went down for Quarantine. And Epsilon, the cleanup is going to happen. Yeah, I played. I still don't know what happened on that uh, last last push. I get total much. tunnel vision on certain things, you know, and I just miss the yep. fact that everyone else has died. Well, but uh, well played to quarantine. Foo, it has just spawned, but uh, Epsilon are already pushing in towards the last. Ubers are slightly in favour of Nox, about 10%, but I'm not sure if he's aware of that. They could push on the button here, but it looks like Numlog is just going to try and control the lobby as everyone else for Epsilon gets buffed up and gets in position. We see NG and Double Heavy? That's illegal, isn't it? Double Heavy is illegal. Yes. Uh, he does run back in Swan. Okay. They have finally <laughs> realised. 
It's okay, it's okay. Kalo went back in the spot. I was a little bit curious. Double heavy was illegal. Manages that they take that to Sentry. Nomlock had to give his life for it, though. Uh, so we'll have to wait and see how this goes. Epsilon's going to rotate to the left. Going to see what can they do. Or they're going to try and come in here. Kalo does get shot down. But a lot of Epsilon players are taking a lot of damage here. And obviously still that heavy on the high ground. Kuich is just running that out. Epsilon might going down. Bash going down as well. And oh my god. Like, Epsilon is just... They're going to struggle pushing against this quarantine team here on last. Yeah, Numlong showing his displeasure on the, <laughs> on the chat. Yeah. Didn't enjoy that sentry, but right now, they have a second chance at pushing in here. They've still got Uber. They actually have a little bit of an advantage. Not sure if that's going to matter, but they're going to be up against that NG Heavy again. And this will be telling as to how they try to break it. We do see Bash on Sniper. Will he go lower or will he peek from that left side and try to find him? He's going to try and work the angle on the left. Uber's already come in on the right side, though. You see, both Ubers do get exchanged. Sentry gun is immediately get taken down, but again, Nomlock goes down. Second time, once again, where he jumps in, immediately gets flown into the air by the Sentry, and really cannot seem to figure it out. And Epsilon gonna have to go back to the drawing board, spend 30 seconds over there, and then see how it goes. Yeah, I mean, Epsilon just want to push in on that right side and not lose any players. They want to force the Uber to do whatever damage they can. The real battle's going on on the flank where you saw them trying to push in and get that soldier on the roof. But it didn't happen. Mike goes in for a play there and just gets destroyed by this heavy. And we're going to see it grind out to another Uber versus Uber. Bash is going to try and make a play on the lower side. Will he charge up? He just walks in actually. He's, he's got sight of the medic. He's been spotted though. He gets a shot off but nothing uh, really critical right there. No headshots. And he's going to get buffed up, but really it's up to... Oh, Mike has gone Mikey, spy, Mikey, course. Mikey. Yeah, he's walked all the way back to spawn and he switched himself. Didn't actually go in and died or something like that. He just went all the way back. And he's going to walk underneath here. I'm not going to be able to watch Bash. So you watch Bash. I'll take a look at Mike here. As we can see, okay. Mike, he's going to hide bottom here, at least for a little bit. I can see Bash actually going bottom as well. They seem to coordinate this now, where as soon as Bash shows up, Mike is going in, that, that doesn't make any sense to me, but he's going to do that, he's going to take the ammo. Has, has that been spotted by Quarantine? I'm guessing they could have spotted that. Mike is sitting behind the crate right now, Mike is going to have to show himself, does get spotted by a soldier though. Mike is going to do nothing, but Bash gets the body shot onto crit tonight. And that obviously is a huge bit coming out from the boys from Epsilon, who immediately push in, not wasting any time here whatsoever, but again, not what goes down. And he really seem, seems to not be able to catch a break here at this moment in time. Yeah, Numlock gets unlucky again, but right now it's two on five. I think those spawns just come in. The Sentry is still up though, that's important. And Mitzi does manage to work the angle there. It looks like they're going to cap the point, but the soldiers coming in on the flank. They're forced into the line of fire of the Sentry. They do manage to survive somehow. Mitzi and uh, Nox Oof. both get out, but this Sentry is just tickling them, not really killing them. Kuchin now on his own, one man army trying to take a couple of players down. Already took down two, he's now going to be able to survive. As the sentry, Mike, had to die as a spy, come back in and then shoot down the sentry. That's how long that sentry was alive. During that entire Uber, they did not manage to kill it. It's in this little sort of weird area where it's hard to spam and it's hard to actually take down even if you were in. You really got to focus it down and. Teams hate doing that. They really want to spend their 10 seconds if you were doing something else apart from just taking down a sentry. It seems like Quarantine has practiced this and said, you know what, this is how we're going to defend. They're not running an Engineer now. They didn't have the time to build it up. And Epsilon already Ubering in here. No counter Uber whatsoever. And Crit tonight and the rest of his team backed into a corner here. They're still going to be able to do it, I guess, if they defend this properly. But they're low on health. They're very low on health. Nomlock's still alive. Nomlock now goes down. And it looks like Quarantine for about the fourth time, I think the fourth time already, they managed to hold on in the first time without an Uber. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's sort of sloppy from Epsilon. They're pushing in their blind, effectively. They've seen that the, the demo man's on the right side, so they're assuming the combo's there, like the right side and the attacking perspective. They push in, and then they realize that the heavy, the medic, are all actually over at the other side where the truck is. And that's like so much space to cover, it's just... It's just a fail Uber. They needed to get out there, but... They sort of went in anyway because they had the Uber advantage. They tried to do damage, but they just couldn't close the distance and put damage on the heavy at the same time. And now as soon as the Uber is back, the NG's there again. 
Um, that is an, an Epsilon is really like, guys, you cannot see this. Um, the sentry has actually gone down, so that wasn't there. It looks like Epsilon is now going to push in now that this, uh, that sentry's out of the equation. They're going to push in from left. Uber comes popped off. Very well played. Lime goes down, but Bash goes down. It's a sniper duel against one by Zapis. Oh no, Bash was actually playing scout, but we can see Epsilon working the way around here. Still in an all right position, though. And maybe, maybe finally, but Mike drops, crits and I drops. The frags are coming all over the place. I cannot call this one, James. As we can see, Epsilon still fighting for this. The spawns in eight seconds. Creature's going to spawn. It's just Lime. Is Lime going to be the player to catch this off on his own? No, he is not. And the first time that Mike manages to snipe that sentry off at the very start of the point is immediately when Epsilon caps this. one all is going to be the scoreline here as Epsilon really um, they're struggling against the sentry and they're they're um, really showing how much they hate it by typing in chat. You guys cannot see this on um, on the stream, you guys cannot see this, but if you're watching on the Source TV, if you have the chat on, Epsilon keeps typing the damn sentries. They're really annoyed by it. And this might get into their heads at some moment in time, James. Yeah, Quarantine playing pretty passive on their own side here. They're trying to control their own... Numlock's walking forward though and he hasn't got backup. He's got no medic there to heal him. But it looks like Quarantine have actually given up. Even though they got that demo man pick, they lost their own demo man. And they decided to go back and they've allowed Epsilon to heal up. It would be... Uh... Maybe unwise to push it now, but they're going to go for it anyway. They get Mitsu, who didn't have full health. Somehow they knew ESP, I think. And the scouts and medic back off for Epsilon. I feel like it could have gone either way, but they decided to get out. They didn't want to risk it. I guess they realised Kritzenite had that little uber advantage. Nox wasn't building for the old time on middle. And they've given up. Mitsu does respawn right now. He's gone sniper as well. I think that's the first time I've seen Mitsu snipe. Yeah. But I know he's actually pretty decent from... Uh, his previous days as scout. Well, let me go and take a look. Mitsu, who are you? Just gonna see where he is. Looking around at the top right hand area, if you look at from the defender's point of view. See what he can do. Zap, this goes down. And if we know Epsilon, and if they play the way we love them to play, one pick is enough for them to push. And it looks like Nomlock is gonna try. Coming around the corner with Nox. Seeing what they can do, but that's a huge choke point to push through, and it looks like Bash, together with Mike, are trying to get get the attention away, but they both actually die, and Quarantine is going to like this very, very much, so there, it looks like the Uber is not perfect, but they get a lot of damage done. Numlock still on 200 HP, though. He's not dropping so far. Shocky has gone down, and it looks like Crit Knight's very weak. Now Numlock may finally actually go down as he's 50 HP. Nox has to run for his life. Mixy goes down. And it looks like Numlock finally, finally, finally is going to drop to the floor. At, at what cost, though, it looks like Calho does get taken down, but everyone already healed up. Crits and I doing a very, very, very good job here, healing everyone up as fast as he possibly can. The shot comes out from Zappis. The bomb comes in onto Crits and I, but he's not going to drop to the floor. And Mike immediately jumps back. Great play from the Soldier from Epsilon. Did you see that? Mike, he jumped in, jumped back into his medic's range immediately. Very well played by the Soldier there from Epsilon, as right now Epsilon immediately swi switching gears, going on towards the second point, not letting Quarantine rest for even a little bit. Yeah, I'm curious to see what's going to happen here, because Epsilon keep losing it on the flanks, like, Fu and Kritzenite are doing a great job of containing the combo from Epsilon, but on the flank they seem to get picked apart, and wow, the Ubers come in here, but Lemon and Koji are both dropped. Kritzenite tried to challenge there, now he's just walking into stickies. He is just totally screwed there. Quarantine, ah, I'm not sure why they went for that, but didn't work out for them. Didn't have their demo man at that point when they pushed in, Ubered in to block the point or something. Yeah, I'm, not I'm scratching sure. my head here, man. I'm scratching my head. Zap is won the duel with Bash on the flank. I think that was their indicator. Like, oh wait, like we're if a player ahead, let's let's do it right now. But I don't think they were that much ahead. And as you said, Fool wasn't there in the fight. A little bit of miscommunication coming out from Quarantine. Maybe really not really used to the tempo that Epsilon is putting into this game. We've seen Numlock. Look at how aggressive he is. And everyone from Epsilon just launches in. You spoke about this earlier, where they just time it. They're like, okay, go now. Everyone goes as fast. as as quick and as hard as they possibly can. And you can see the damage coming out. They're doing it once again. Now, coming into last, Mike is still there. Bash, Nox, and Shocky are still alive. All swarming here into last. But Zappas and Lime actually doing a fantastic job. But now, Kuichi coming back on, on the flank, taking Mike down here on the point. Very well played by Quarantine so far. Remember, the score still won all. And the first, like, the first map in this game, um, Gollywash, that we saw just a second ago, was a complete whitewash. I think it was 15 minutes, 5-0. It was not close whatsoever, but Quarantine is showing it on this map.
and they're putting yeah. out their energy again. <laughs> I hate to say it, but Kochi is sort of quarantine's hidden like uh, secret weapon this season. He's really been holding his own against like Bash and Stefan, and even in the previous game against Pyrogen, he put in a big performance. But I gave credit to Zappis instead. But right now we do see Epsilon pushing in, already getting two picks, demo and soldier down. This is crucial. Kryptonite will have Uber in time though, but the aggression from Epsilon has already yielded some important frags. They've lost two in exchange, but they will get out. Nox has almost got his Uber and three players down. A piece hedge on the Kryptonite just to rub salt in the wound. The Uber gets popped off now. It's Seb and Jean Louis moving forward. They've got Bash and Tui just almost gets that scout with a headshot, but the spawns have come in as well, and this is just getting really. Really strung out now from Epsilon. It looked like they could have done it, but they didn't account for those spawns, man. I, I don't think they were quick enough, to be fair. Like, they could have covered the spawns. They could have stopped getting that heavy for at least a little bit, rushed to the point immediately and cap it off, but they didn't manage to do that. Zappis now goes down, and I think Epsilon has figured it out. How to counter a sentry on last? Just go even without Uber. Just go. That is what they did just now. They had no Uber, not even close. They knew Crits and I didn't have it either. Let's just go. And maybe they're going to try and do the same if they see that that sentry is still not there. Because I firmly believe that Epsilon thinks we're just better. Yeah, look at it again. They're going again. And apparently Quarantine has taken notes of this. Not much immediately goes down. Lime did bomb him down. Two to one exchange right now in favor of Quarantine. Are they going to push? Well, we know Quarantine a little bit, James, don't we? Yeah, they like to sit back for a really, really big advantage. They want to see Epsilon wipe. But I mean, it's smart play from Epsilon, because this setup that Quarantine are running, it's very immobile. You've got a Heavy, sometimes an NG, and that you can create these little fights like outside of the range of the Heavy or outside of the range of the Sindri, where you can get picks, you can get one or two guys, and that's what Epsilon did that last time on the left. But right now they're coming in with that Uber charge, just a single Uber here onto Numlock to try and do some damage and get the quarantine uber out of the picture they have managed to do that and they've also beat it full forward a little bit like if someone steps in right now you can get that demo man pick numlog is just winning the here goes bash, here goes bash. bash gets crit tonight bash gets quit and he gets fuo gets the triple backstab onto the players of quarantine <laughs> and that seals the deal pretty much immediately i was looking at bash that entire time and he did manage to pick all three up that was a good 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 tactic from epsilon i loved it and uh, there you go. <laughs> I think we can see that on YouTube in a couple of hours, ladies and gentlemen, if you want to see that again. Triple Spy backstab onto Laz, and Epsilon took the lead now for the first time here on CB Snakewater. 2-1 to one coming out for them, and Quarantine back up the ropes. Yeah, I think you just need to kick me in the nuts next time you see some big plays coming in. But again, <laughs> on middle, we see Fu slightly faster than Numlock, but not really getting much done as the rest of Epsilon arrive and now prepare to make plays. Already Zabas and Lemon go down. Shocky and Mitzi doing work right there. And instantly quarantine are out of there. Numlock's chasing after them like a dog chasing cars. He's too weak though to chase. He's got 40 HP. He's getting buffed up. And quarantine have positioned himself fairly safely into the lobby. But one man thinks he can make a difference on his own. That is Koji <laughs> manages to surf out there on 50 HP. And no health really here for quarantine to challenge. They're going to have to give it up. And already Numlock moving into that lobby. He's going to deny any pushback. And even push ahead on his own. He's, he's found Fu. He's got some damage. He's got him separated from his medic. That's an excellent pick there from Numlock onto Fu. And Kryptonite gets Uber. And already he's lost two players. It's a big advantage here for Epsilon as they just fade away. Getting ready for the repush. The Ubers fade it for Kryptonite. And in come those red players from the left side. On the attacking perspective, that heavy weapons guy is going to die so quickly. Wow. Nice. Nice from Epsilon. 3-1 already. Score is now going really quick. And Quarantine, they really seem to lose grip on this game. They had it firmly into control the first 10 minutes. And they were like, this is okay. We're doing well. We're holding off against the European Championships. Like, the European Champions, we're doing well. And then Epsilon just shifted it into next gear. They figured it out. Now they know how to break Quarantine. And we're going to have to wait and see how the, how the people in blue are going to manage on this middle. Because Epsilon, right now, the rape train, the rape train has departed, Admirable. Yeah, Fu doing a great job of focusing all the Epsilon players on the top right. He's done a lot of damage. He just needs to push forward now. Make that call. Quarantine are just sitting back. They've got a lot of frags, but they're allowing the Epsilon to escape. But Nox has gone down. Mitzi and Shockey still remain. Oh, he comes in from the back. Doesn't get anything done. But, wow, just great work from Fu. Read that middle excellently. Saw three players from Epsilon up top. Just focused them with stickies. And that damage was enough for the, everyone else to just get all those frags. Nox went down as well. This is this is the curse of Targus, I think we're going to have to call it. <laughs> a scoreline of 
2-2 Golden Cap has been done away with, but it could be 3-3 as Quarantine push forward here. They've got forced early though, but they're going to continue. They're focusing down a soldier on the left. He chased that soldier frag so far. Didn't quite get it, but Fuel came in and did big damage to the scouts, also cleaning up. They're getting so much time on the point, and Epsilon just getting a taste of their own medicine there. Back to back, super fast rounds. This is beautiful play. Yeah, it's fantastic game. This is TF2 of the highest level we can find, ladies and gentlemen. Everyone is playing really well this game. I don't think anyone from the 12 players in this server is playing a bad map so far. I think everyone is doing well, and we're going to have to wait and see. Quarantine now, still 3-2 behind, but against the European champions, that's still not a bad score, but we're going to have to wait and see. Are they going to be able to make it more? We see the scout rush come out from Epsilon. Is Quarantine able to deflect it? Yes, they are, but here comes the follow-up. Loads of Epsilon's players are, are high up on the floor, and loads of Quarantine players are unbelievably weak at this moment in time, but it seems to really look like Quarantine has deflected the scout push and managed to do completely fine getting a 3 for 0 exchange on that middle. Yeah, Bash and Shockey are just getting their asses handed to them here by Kochi and Zappis. Uh, the soldiers of Epsilon it looked like they were trying to make some play there. They both went on that left rump and were both in position to jump, but they took a little bit of damage and decided not to because they'd already lost those two frags. But just the aggression from the scouts wow. in the middle seems to be doing wonders and <laughs> Nox goes down. In comes the Uber from Quarantine, just to make sure no one else dies as they push forward. They've already capped CP4. Mitzi gets destroyed in the lobby, and they should be on the point already. Bash and Mike are up. Scout and Soldier against so many blue players. Are they actually? Wow, okay, so it's real. <laughs> Go on, Seriously, Quarantine. Admiral, be honest with me. Did you expect this scoreline on Snake Lodge? Yes, there's, there's 10 yeah, I told left. you from the start. No, you didn't tell Tarkus me. You just, you just quoted Tarkas. You told him, no, you quoted some guy. No, 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 I'm not going to believe it. Gonna have to wait and see, though. Can Quarantine go on with this? It was 3-1. I said the rape train was departing. Well, apparently it's not. It's already 3-0 right now. We're like three minutes later. Can Quarantine keep keep this going. Epsilon need to put them to a halt right now, but the men in blue, as aggressive as they are, take first blood on this middle once again. Yeah, Epsilon trying to play passive that time, but Quarantine just soaking it up and really focusing those players on the top. They're really winning that battle up there. They're not even committing players to the top, they're just doing damage to those Epsilon players. They're just sort of standing up there on that right platform, I don't understand. But I think Numlock felt a little bit scared there, he must have called the scouts to play a little bit more passively, but really they just let the players up top die, and a man advantage for quarantine meant they were going to win that other fight, and now we're just back to Epsilon defending last again, it's going to be Uber versus Uber, they've got their own sentry out! <laughs> Okay, Epsilon is going into troll mode now. They're sick of those sentries. You know, they build it at the exact same spot as well. As we can see, the Uber now comes off. Epsilon is sick of this defending business. They just want to go. Down as well, man. God, Epsilon hates being destroyed at this moment in time. Quarantine is really getting to them, Admirable. Yeah, I think Numlock is really losing his cool. He's just died there. He maybe dropped. They didn't see exactly what happened, but... He says in chat, apparently we're not men. Yeah. Oh, seems to be some uh, descent in the ranks here at Epsilon. This could be the beginning of their downfall, man. Are they crumbling under the pressure? I'm looking quickly to see if there's any spies or anything in play here. Potential backcaps, but no, that sentry's got it covered. And we see a scout building Uber here for Quarantine on middle. They are aware that Nox has Uber advantage. They're not even going to hold close. They're not going to put down any spam. They're just going to let them walk into middle. They seem quite content to not uh, put on too much pressure at all. Epsilon are pretty brave. They're going to be able to walk out here without popping off that Uber, but there is it, a potential it. sniper headshot. Yeah. Uh, it, it's, it, it, oh, it does get the headshot onto Nomlock. Immediately he's going to have to get Uber. No, he actually Nox doesn't Uber. Nomlock getting the hell out of there first. Now Roaming Soldier comes in. Is he going to be able to do anything? No, still not. Jumping all the way back. And now the picks are coming out. Nomlock again goes down. He cannot catch a break today. But Epsilon so far, they're going to like this exchange a lot. Mike goes down to an arrow. Obviously, I need to comment on that. But Nox still has this Uber. And Epsilon's going to like this exchange quite a bit. Yeah, that was that was pretty dumb from Quarantine, like, they knew they had Uber Disadvantage, yet somehow they still lost 4 and didn't force yeah. it. That was not how they, they had planned that out, they didn't see that going that way in their heads before they committed all those players, a conga line of people in today, and now they're gonna face two Uber Scouts here on last. No! Crits and goes down, 97. Oh, oh, that was crucial, crucial. 
Do you and really still do not want your medic to die at 97, at, bro? Well, you really do not want that to happen. We're still seeing the fight happening, though. I'm quite surprised that Epsilon is, is not as aggressive as they are. It looked like they were going to back out, but now Nomlock's actually coming in here, trying to get some damage done, does get the shot on Lime, who's trying to clean up with the escape plan, and knocks up against Kuichi. And now the medic comes out. Are they going to be able to cover this? It looks like they might, might, might do, as Nox only on 50%. More spawns going to try and run out. Spawn comes in. Nox comes in. Shock, Shocky comes in. Is Shocky going to be able to cap this oh, off? Oh, wow. Yes, he body he blocks him. As the he body, body block comes in, well played to him. 4-3 to three in a score for Epsilon. And so far, they're still okay. They're still okay, but I'm really scared for Epsilon to actually lose this map. Oh, I have, I have complete faith in them. I'm really interested to see how this next middle goes. Again, Sifu is coming in from that right side. So picks up the med pack. Pretty much equal timing, although that sticky was directly in his face. I'm not sure how they're going to react to that. Number one's going to be calling that the demo man is... Like, the big bomb in from Mike onto those players on the roof and he manages to pick up a frag onto Koji who craters so first blood to Epsilon this time followed up by two more frags Fu and Lemon go down and it looks like Epsilon have just sort of sat back for a second to decide at what they were doing wrong on middle as they come away with three frags and an uber advantage here one soldier on line trying to get some assassination pick in there, and Mike's not going to have any of that. Only 22 HP remains, though, between him and his death. He's going to stay alive. Epsilon's going to pick up this point, and really... Sindri, Sindri. They're going to have to. Like, there's six minutes left on the clock. You're one point down, but how did Quarantine win those previous rounds? By just running a sentry, and Epsilon's going to say, again, we're not going to have anything of that. We're just going to push. We're going to get this stuff done, and we're going to man all over Quarantine here. And so far, the exchange has been reasonably even. If Nomlock goes down, though, this this might be big, but Fuo's the demo man that drops to the floor first. Now goes Numlocked, and it seems, again, this exchange very, very even. It's still possible for quarantine, but it's two soldiers versus one, and one medic versus one. It's going to come down to the spawn. Lemon now comes in, and quarantine is going to hold, James. Looks like it. Ooh, Shockey's up. Where is he? I'm trying to find him. Is he going to run in? Yeah, he is. He's trying to pistol that soldier down. He <laughs> jumps right and he gets him. He's going to get the demo. Oh, oh my shocking. god! Oh my god! And why you said this guy is the very best scout in Europe, and he has been for a long time, and he's showing once again why. Um, I'm gonna see a lot of Shocky and Bash clips on YouTube tonight, that's what I'm guessing. Yeah, the curse of the demo man, the pipe launcher doing a lot of self damage there to Foo. Many, that last meat shot was enough to kill him, and right now it's on to another middle. I see Epsilon dominating the top right now as Lime comes in to challenge, try and challenge Mike, but they're just trying to sit back and soak up a little bit of pressure. They've managed to focus down Lemon as well. Zap is on to Bash, though. Numlock on to Fu. That's a big demo man advantage, and Critzidate knows it because he is running for his life right now. It's going to be yeah. equal Ubers, though, and they have managed to keep four players alive, but we do see the scouts of Quarantine are still challenging here. Kochi peeking in. He does almost escape. I, I An invisible know, shot he pulls uh, in there. I gotta be a little bit critical here, though, because it's only four minutes left on the clock. Quarantine there, it was a four versus four. They were out of position, but they could have been aggressive there. They're gonna be aggressive now, though, which I, I think is okay. It looks like they've just decided, you know, we're gonna be aggressive here. And they're gonna see if they can catch out Numlocks and the rest of the Epsilon team. It looks like they got quite a bit of damage done on Mitzi. He goes down. Lime goes down, though, and Fuo goes down. Great play coming in. The, the sort of follow-up coming in from Shocky and Bash. The German scout duo from Epsilon managed to do a lot of work here, and this might actually put the nail into the coffin for this map. Yeah, it, it looked like it was going to go for quarantine in that little engagement, but then those yeah. spawns just came in for Epsilon, the scouts arrived and cleaned house, and uh, could it be 6-3? <laughs> with the pick on the shoggy lime onto Mike Knox, it just, man, his life is null and void, he does get taken out eventually, but that means crit tonight is going to have a little bit of an advantage here, will he go crits? Yes! Yes, he does. <laughs> of course, he's going to have to, man. It's like three minutes left on the clock and they're two points down. You, you're going to have to do something. Might as well run Kritzkrieg and, and just go YOLO. Let's put it that way, man. Let's yeah, just they're going to have to push um, non ubered but the Crits is uh, a great feather to their cap as well for this aggressive play in the last three minutes here. They've already picked up a frag on to Bash. Shucky's on last. Shucky's on last. <laughs> oh, oh God. Has Blocked it and come in. Tried to block it, but done enough damage that no one wants to chase him down. I thought Numlock... He did go down, actually. Wow, he does eventually go down underneath. And I wonder if they spotted that shocky, crit shocky, already. Fuyo pushing forward. Okay. You just have to ignore Shocky. He does go down. Yeah. Crit has uh, popped off super early. Uh, 
Mike onto Kryptonite. Mike in the kitchen there. Wow. That is pretty much good night for quarantine. No medic here. It's not going to be able to stall out for the next two minutes. I'm sorry, guys. I didn't mean to ruin the suspense, but that was very, very important from Mike there. If, if, yeah, obviously Mike's pick there on Crit tonight, I think that I'm pretty much ended it because Epsilon obviously they have this Uber in five seconds. And literally with that Uber, you can stall pretty much forever. And obviously that's exactly what Epsilon's going to do. They're not going to feel super comfortable just yet, but in about 30 seconds or so, they know that that is done. And that even though it was a little bit of a rusty map, they managed to do it. And they're even going to push for middle here um, just because they're already feeling so comfortable. They're just going to do it. They're going to see what happens. No snipers, nothing of the sorts. They're just going to push in. And while Nomla goes down once again, I want to see that guy's deaths on the locks after this game. Uh, he really did not have the nicest of games, but he did his job and the entirety of Epsilon did its job. They they are going to come through this rough patch, and that is pretty much what this season is going to be about for Epsilon. Everyone puts them down as favorites. They're going to have rough maps, but as long as they keep winning everything as hard as it gets, Epsilon really are still going to be the top contesters, and that's exactly what they're showing at this moment in time. Yeah. Uh, I mean, Epsilon's biggest strength is just that they, they adapt very well. Like, sure, they lost a few rounds there, but they figured out what was going wrong during the game. They didn't just, like, lose five in a row like most of the other teams in the Prem will do. And they managed to turn it around just by the power of their brains, players. They've thought it through and they've adjusted their style. And right now, they are on their way to securing another map victory here. Yep, here we're gonna go. On to last. This is probably gonna be the last push of the game, ladies and gentlemen. Win or lose! Gonna have to wait and see. Is it gonna be 6 3 or is it gonna be 5 3 on the scoreboard? I'm quite sure it is gonna be a 6 3. I might be wrong though because Epsilon doesn't seem to be getting frags at all. And Quarantine might actually be holding on to this. Mike is still around, Nox is still around, and I think Shocky, the German scout wonder, is still around somewhere. He's sitting on this bottom area, sees a soldier, but he should be getting shot down here. Yes, it is. And uh, as it's only, well, let's see. It's uh, four seconds left on their clock, so GG's are being called. Bash is going to try and cap this up, but the score is going to be 5-3, to three, ladies and gentlemen. And that is going to be the score on here at the end of the game. James, really quick, man of the map. Really quick. Uh, probably Shocky. Hello. Shout out to Koji, man. He's been up on his game in the Prem here. I'm impressed. Definitely, definitely. Koji has been playing a good season so far. We're going to see him and the rest of Quarantine further on this season, as well as Epsilon. So stay tuned to that. Epsilon is going to be here on the show tomorrow when we have Broder versus Epsilon, the cracker of the season so far, with the so-called number one and number two from this season uh, ahead of Crackland, where Admiral might be a little bit sad about, but he can probably speak the truth out of that one. As Epsilon and Broder coming up against each other tomorrow evening, same time, same place here at Vanilla TV. Epsilon on winning this round so far. 6-0 once again in ETF 12 score lines. 5-0 on Gullywash. 5-3 on Snakewater after a cracking Snakewater with very, very nice individual plays and great team were coming out from both teams. This was Vanilla TV. My name is Pledge. With me was Admirable and Warden was on the stream. Thanks so much for watching. It's been a pleasure. And for all of European Team Fortress 2 coverage, please make sure to follow us, subscribe us in anything, and don't forget to follow us here on, uh, on Twitch so you can see whenever we go live and anything like that. And if you're curious about the VODs, YouTube youtube.com slash tv org is where you should be thanks so much for watching guys have a great night and we'll see you all tomorrow bye